Last time on Hooked Up, 10 girls and 10 guys arrive to begin the dating adventure of a lifetime in the majestic Rocky Mountains. The first meeting is impressive. So, you finally got to check each other out? Not bad, right? The first game, a shocker. Jennifer, when was the last time you had sex? This morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Meeting you, Kimberly. Kimberly, so what's going on? Speed dating is the final chance to make or break who will stay and who will go. I want Nicole, I want to see what she's about. Steve's out. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Steve. In the end, four are sent packing. For the girls, it's Sarah and Jennifer. For the guys, James and Steve. Now, just 16 still remain in the quest to become hooked up. many things in Hooked Up, stage two is a mystery with a bus ride into the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. I've, I've never experienced anything, you know, so intense in such a short period of time and it's really, really surreal almost how the connections that form with people when you're put in situations like this. I think if a girl that I was interested in reciprocated that interest, I think I would start to think well, maybe we shouldn't show too much interest in each other in front of the group because they're going to be like, well, they're together, let's get them off the show. I think when it comes right down to it, it's gonna, there's going to have to be some backstabbing and um, nastiness going on to stay on the game, and I don't want to do that. That whole ride there, man, it's coming into the mountains. Jeez, amazing. It's exhilarating, exhilarating. I got hotties all over the bus. You know, I got some boys that are going to be my boys forever. I know it. I know for a fact a lot of these guys I'm going to keep in contact with. I'm going to damn sure make sure that. When we rolled on in and saw the little tiny huts, cabins, <laughs> it's like, oh, this is going to be adventurous. As much as I like five-star hotels, I, I don't have a problem sleeping in a tent if I had to. So I was glad to see that there were cabins. <laughs> You got your shirt, Chad? Yes, I do. Task number one, get the jeans and cowboy hats on. We're getting Western for a surprise event. Woo! Well, I was born on a farm. It's kind of my roots. It's not the kind of stuff I'd wear on normally, like that kind of shirt and stuff, but it's pretty comfortable. I was in Australia for about a year, and I picked up that hat there. Didn't have the boots, but uh, I'm not a cowboy by any means, but, you know, I've got it kicking around. I, a couple people had asked me about my outfit. You know, they said I looked like a rodeo queen, and I just said, you know, what's a diva, diva cowgirl, I guess. I didn't see the, the cowboys at first. I just saw the rodeo clown. I was like, what are they doing? Like, what kind of competition is this? threw me off a bit, definitely threw me off a bit. As a kid growing up, we had two horses, but I just, I honestly just played hockey all my life and I didn't really want to be a cowboy. quite the experience. There's a lot of city slickers, so it was neat just watching expressions and for myself, it was just up front. Scary. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> Those guys are crazy. <laughs> Holy crap. I tried to pretend like I liked it, but inside I was cringing. Who does that for fun, you know? Who rides animals and pokes them with spurs just so that they can look like a real tough man? <laughs> Tara kept saying, pay attention you guys, make sure you pay attention to how these cowboys are doing it. So yeah, I got a little scared. 
I thought you guys were gonna make us ride the uh, ride the real bulls, and that's when I was really getting sketched out. I was like, oh my god, there goes my hockey career. I'm gonna break my leg. <laughs> We're not playing anymore. Okay, everybody, are you scared? Are you intimidated? So you thought it was rough over in the real rodeo ring? Well, obviously, you're looking at uh, Cyclone, the mechanical bull. So the name of the game is to stay on for as long as you can, but you're also going to be judged on form. We've got the real cowboys over here. We saw earlier riding the real bulls and the real horses, and they're going to be our judges. So have fun and remember that there will be a reward for the people who have the best form and stay the longest on Cyclone. I'm a pretty determined individual. If I want something, I want to get it, obviously. So I wanted it, and I was trying my darndest. <laughs> I had a bit of an idea, but I wasn't going to be cocky about it because I knew I was probably going to get tossed pretty fast. I'm game for anything. I'm not scared of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it hurts. I, I ding my nuts up there so hard. thinking that's it, you know, that's it. I'm holding on, you know, no matter how many bruises I get or nails that I break. I didn't know what to expect. I don't think that I, I got a good rhythm going right off the bat, but uh, I think my pants were a little tight too, so I think I lost a beat, which messed me up. Rob is because he was pretty adamant on being one of the last because he wanted to be, you know, save the best for last so he knows what he has to beat. He was all dressed in his Versace, not looking so much like a man, so the cowboys were just waiting. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you in a little secret. I can dance. Dancing is moving your hips. If you can move your hips, <laughs> your game. When that bolt comes up, it moves your hips. If I was judging, I would have gave Chad number one for sure. As far as the girls go, uh, I think those cowboys just wanted to keep riding the blondies, you know. They had their girls picked out right there, you know. girls. Oh. Tie for the girls, so we're going to have a little ride off. Wow. Kimberly, Tracy, come on up. Being the blondes, you sort of get a stereotype, and I think we showed them pretty much that we, you know, we're here to play, and, you know, let's get it on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't have big booties like that, so it was kind of hard to really get in their face, but I think, yeah, they scored the boobs for sure. I think I would have gotten a better score if my hair was a different color and I had a slightly different body. I told Tracy afterward, I'm like, I think they're biased, you know? I mean, they gave me a four, but I know I wasn't that terrible. I don't know if I'm so good. I think I was just lucky. I was just lucky that time. Cheers. 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 To cap off 
The day's western theme, everyone's treated to a country hoedown and a small taste of what lies ahead. The real dating is about to begin. We had such a great time. Once you got into it, we had a great time. It was fun. I had the best dance with Chad H. I just have to say that. Like, I'm sorry. That was the funnest dance. Everybody's moving out there. They're, they got their groove on. Chad's got his own little spice on the deal, too. I just always keep my eye open where he was. So let's do the sing a sad song, a bad song, any song, any song, but a happy song will do. everyone. How's everybody feeling after the bull riding last night? Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to get down to business because we've got a couple important things to talk about. First off, yesterday the bull riding was great to watch. I know some of you are sore, but it's definitely worth it for two people here today. That being Tracy and Chad. Why is it worth it? Because you did so well yesterday on the bull riding that you are completely immune from the cuts tonight. And not only that, but the two of you are going to enjoy a very nice date together. The rest of you will also be enjoying some fun today. The men, you've all got keys, okay? Those keys open up the locks that the ladies have on. And you go down the line, you open up the locks, whoever's lock you open up, you will be heading off on a fabulous date with that lovely lady, okay? Jason, go ahead, see if your key opens up Naomi's lock. If not, make your way down the line. Is it Naomi? Come on. Can I try your lock in? <laughs> Obviously, I wanted to go out with Eva Joy. It would be awesome. Um, but I wasn't disappointed because I was interested in getting to know Kimberly. Hey! hey. Oh, that sounds like you. money! <laughs> I was actually pretty happy when the lock opened. It was kind of open for a couple girls and I got I got to go on a date with uh, one girl I was hoping to go on one with and worked out. I was quite pleased actually. Hey! hey. <laughs> we don't know who everybody's about right now. We only make our opinions by what we see or overhear from conversations or other people. Well, I guess in one respect, if it wasn't the person or persons you were looking to be with for their dates, you get a chance to know somebody else. Mine, I was happy with the, with the guy I got. I breathe a sigh of relief. Eight dates in eight different locations. Stage two of Hooked Up's dating showdown is now officially back on. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Not too bad. You're looking good. Oh, you too? Yeah, there you go. You want to do some uh, horseback riding? Sure. Well, I'm interested in two girls right now, and she's one of them. She's athletic, she's easy to talk to, she's a really nice girl, she's, you know, she's really hot. She's got a really nice face, pretty face. She's got a sweet, sweet bottom half, like, her ass is sweet. She's like the full package. I was definitely pleased. He's gorgeous, and uh, he looks very good in a cowboy hat. <laughs> you think you had trouble walking this morning? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait till tomorrow. Oh. I think I have some A535. Put that on. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you can put that on them? On tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just be careful where you put it. <laughs> Make sure it's just on the legs. Oh, it's not on my legs. <laughs> we we're both extremely comfortable on the horse, which was good because we could focus more on the date rather than staying on the horse. We got along really well. They're we talking the whole way, nonstop. Lots of laughter and good conversation. I think there was a bit of chemistry, I felt it. You're freezing. Here. Okay, I got a sweater Aww, on. Thank you. Here. We ended up stopping in this little field and having, uh, setting up a picnic there, having a blanket and had some, you know, had some sandwiches and, and that type of thing. Cheers to her first date. Yeah. It's going pretty good. It's just playing her cash, you know, not getting in there too much, but just playing her cash, just seeing what happens type thing. Are those oysters? Yeah. <laughs> well, they are an aphrodisiac. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> That's not really... I don't really like that. 
wasn't huge fireworks, but there's definitely sparks, and I think there's enough to get the fire going. Definitely go with her again, yeah, for sure. She's totally a girl I'd be interested in. My roommate, Tracy, is very extremely interested in him, and I know about this, so I guess perhaps that's why I've kind of backed off. But after sharing this date, I guess, things are changing. He's number one right now. pretty stoked. My dream date is to go out with a girl rock climbing and have a picnic lunch at the top and look at the view. She was the type of girl that I could potentially see myself pursuing. It was kind of like a test for me in some way to see if this girl is really all talk or if she's actually going to do some of the stuff. I'm David. I'm with the Amnuska Mountain School. David, good to meet you. So how do you feel about going rock climbing? Jason, like, he's playing it so safe that, you know, he's telling everyone what they want to hear, maybe. So my whole goal for this date was just to grill him. I wanted to give him a 20-question sort of thing, and I was kind of scoping him out for the other girls to see, you know, if he was worth keeping around. <laughs> he made a little bit of physical contact. He helped me tie my shoes, which was really sweet. And uh, just little things I noticed. I, I'm really perceptive to that. I like to see the little things. You know, you've got to really trust each other and That's the big be thing, comfortable. Trust. 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 Trust is big on this. Communication. Trust me. I hurt my hands quite uh, badly on the mechanical bull, and I was a little apprehensive. But I thought, you know what, I've been wanting to climb for some time now, and I'm not going to just give up. She doesn't look like a very rugged girl. But I gotta hand it to her, she, she got in there and she really tried her best. He lets me think that there might be an attraction there. He told me he was a little bit intimidated by me and I don't know if that's supposed to be a compliment or if I am a scary person. I don't know what that means exactly. When we got to the bottom, it just dumped like freezing rain on us and soaked us down. I like the kind of girl that'll just shrug it off and enjoy it. And um, she seemed pretty concerned about her mascara running and stuff like that. So that was a little bit of a turn off. I get your door for you. Thank you, Mike. I was a little disappointed I wasn't going on with a date with one of the girls I had my eye on. Kimberly and Dana. I wouldn't say we're one of the most compatible people. I'm curious to see how it's going to turn out. So welcome to Mirage Adventure Tours. Thank you, very much. you guys ready to go rafting today? You, you bet. Okay. Mike is a, a good guy. Once you kind of peel the top layer off, he has a good heart, and I think there's a soft side of Mike. I knew my, my date, I was going to get her wet somehow. So. But it came out wrong. <laughs> Deep down, you know, he, he has feelings, and, and uh, I think ha him having, just being by himself and not having the other guys to feed off of made a difference, because when he gets with the guys, it's all downhill from there. <laughs> you always been doing sales and stuff? No, I was going to university before this, and uh, it just kind of fell in my lap, and I was sick of school also. I guess it was a little awkward. Still trying to get to know people. Wasn't really intimate or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of happy right now. That's awesome. You're in your element, Mike. I think that he knows that we're just two completely different people. I wasn't giving him any signs, probably. I would definitely put in a good word for Mike. I don't know if any of the other girls are interested with him, and I think once it narrows down to man, it, uh, it, uh, being a good guy or a nice guy maybe won't cut it. There's going to have to be some interest there from some girl. Well, I told you I'd get you nice and wet on your date. <laughs> <laughs> she got a hell of a body on her. So that was good. I guess that moves up her rankings as well. So, But she hasn't displaced a couple of the other ones I still want to get to know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. It's a pretty beautiful setting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, Paul. He's sweet. He's just so... He's just such a sweet boy. Oh, 
That's uh, it's pretty obvious yeah. that I haven't re rode a horse in 10 years. Okay, babe. I don't know if I'll be able to skate now, but. We laid this stuff out and he was just really nervous and not too sure what to do, and, but I kind of felt like I was on a date with a really young boy. Those are pickled artichoke hearts. They fish or something? No. I couldn't really get a conversation going too well, but once we sat down and got to talk, it went really well. It was really good. She's really easy to talk to. You know, she makes me feel right at home. The woman I look for is gonna be like my mom. You know, she's yeah. just like the kindest soul in the world. Yeah. You know. We got a few toys in our in a picnic basket, and one of them was this little headband with cute little devil horns on it. And I was like, oh, you should put this on. It's fun. And <laughs> oh, they're Satan horns. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of Satan. No. No. I don't know if they're Satan horns or what, but there's these little horns and she took a picture of me with them on, but I told her my mom probably wouldn't be too happy with me having uh, devil's uh, horns on. You're not too happy about being Satan? No, I'm not. Not a funny thing for you, hey? No, not really. <laughs> okay, you can lose the horns. Okay. I don't know, my mom probably watch the show. I was like, oh, try not to pull a face like, oh my god. Okay, sorry. Apologize to your mother for me. So do you have your eyes on any girls? I think I have a connection with this one girl, but I might have a connection with you, I don't know. She's a beautiful girl, just inside and out. She's really honest, and it's exactly what I'm looking for. I like him as a sweet kid, but it's not someone I really want to date. You don't have to worry. I think you're safe. There's enough girls that are really into you, so you're good for the next couple of days, I'd say, at least. Yeah. Cool. Up. The basis of any date can be romantic or strategic to help stay in the game. Sometimes it can be both. It all depends on how well the participants get to know each other. The lady herself. Hey. Hey. How are you? How about how are you doing? Great. I was pretty happy. She was one of the girls who where I found the most interesting. So I mean, I was looking forward to the opportunity really to talk to her some more and I really get to know her a little bit more. Lots of forming. I went in with an open mind like I do with everything else. I didn't have some sort of ulterior motive or anything like that. I wanted to get to know him, maybe possibly see a different side of him. I'm here to get to know the real people. If she's an actress and putting on a show, then that's her prerogative. You couldn't have asked for a better shot. Ah, thanks! <laughs> it seemed like it was way more of a date than necessarily golfing. You're relaxed. I'm the one who's tense, obviously. I mean, Why I, are you tense? I don't know. It was so much fun. I had, I had a good time. I mean, out in front of the mountains, we took pictures and acted like, acted all stupid and funny and stuff like that. I like that look. OK, work with me now. He's like a bird. He got to show me his fun side, and that's what I wanted to see. Cheers. To a lovely afternoon. To a lovely afternoon. Can you know each other better? That's true, too. Cheers. I think I pretty much told her. I was really happy to, to get this date, because you were one of the people I really wanted to get to know the most. There's no point in being coy about it. He's interesting. I'd like to maybe see more of him. I wouldn't want to see him voted off tonight. And going into it, I wasn't too sure. I'll be hoping that you stay. I had fun, thanks. I'm Dan, I'm with the Upper Boat Fly Fishing Company, and uh, we're gonna go out and try and outsmart some pea-sized brains. Rock and roll, man. I was super excited to go fly fishing. I had never done it before, and I love to fish. I don't like to fish because it's too relaxing for me. I don't know, I like the, like the, you know, the action, the, oh, the adrenaline, that's what I like. Frank? Yeah. Oh. Too much line. I wanted to know if he liked to party a lot because that was my concern. He liked to party. Oh. He's really fun. He's upbeat. He's willing to, to open up, but there's that barrier of not understanding certain things he may say. Oh, mom, mommy. Nice yeah. dimples. Nice what? Dimples. We have to, like, keep, like, a balance with the weight. So she was in the other border of the boat, and I was in the other one, and the guy was in the middle. So we're just talking like this. Eh, eh. That wasn't, I didn't like that part. Nicole, you look beautiful, babe. Thank you. You look beautiful even with those pants and those boots. <laughs> <laughs> she was the girl that I said, no, she turned me off. I mean, well, you know what? Uh, because today was like, I, I think I saw the real 
her. I mean, she had the wild side for sure. But she was like very natural I and mean, very outgoing, talking, smart. You know what? I was wrong. How about you? I'm sorry. But I don't know if I could necessarily say anything really bad about him, but just I know he's not the guy for me. I wouldn't want her to go out. I'll stand for her. Yeah, for sure. Oh, look at this. It's a beautiful view, eh? When I meet people, I, I love to be their friend first. I think it wasn't a love at first sight, so so to say, but it, he's pretty high up there as it is because I'm very attracted to like intellectual people and he's very intelligent. Perfect view. Huh? <laughs> I have a long coat on. Brat. It wasn't like uh, I didn't uh, like Dan or anything like that. I was just sketchy just because of the fact that the other previous times I've talked to her, she's been so quiet and, you know, really demure. I'm glad my first date was with you. Yeah, me too. Are you interested in anybody yet? I think all the girls are gem. I really do. I mean, gorgeous, ambitious, and fun. Mm -hmm. He's a people person like me. And just some of the things I found out about, you know, things he's doing in his life, we found out, like, you know, we have a lot more in common than I even thought. I'm a sales rep for a, a clothing line. That must be fun. Like, you go to stores and, like, sell. Kinda. Kinda. The thing with Dana, she doesn't speak much. She sits back, she listens. She thinks before she opens her mouth, which is obviously really good. Have you been to parties? I wonder what, uh, what type of parties. Like rave parties? Yeah, yeah. And nobody's there for the, for the music anymore. Yeah. You know, everyone's there for the drugs, Atmosphere. sex. Yeah. And, hold on, all of a sudden it doesn't sound too bad. I honestly don't think the next one to go will be Tommy. Um, just by hearing what people have to say about him, but if, if it did come to that and I was outnumbered, obviously the majority wins, but I, I definitely would say my, my part. We had a good conversation going on and this would be a great friendship, but in terms of Spark, uh, I think I'll save that for somebody else. Shit. There's nobody here, like what's going on? <laughs> This isn't no, cool. This is good right here. Right this here. is our dream day. This is this is our fantasy day. Yes. The scenery is good. Oh, okay. Oh, give me a kiss. Look. I thought we were gonna have this kind of crappy day because they thought the weather wasn't gonna hold up, and we sat having this picnic, and we're like, okay, this is really great. You know what's gonna happen now? Coptic flying around. Okay, what's this the SOS? Oh my God! That is so. We saw the chopper fly in and we're like, this is awesome. It was so cool. That's all I can say. Oh, yes. Yes. Is that going to stand Winning the helicopter ride. Oh, my God. Experience of a lifetime. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget it. I have never experienced anything like that in my whole life. If I get voted off tomorrow, it was worth it just for that ride. Uh, right now, we're 7,500 feet above sea level. So. It's breathtaking. I guess all I can say is it's breathtaking. Oh. I was looking out the window. I see these beautiful mountains. I see the beautiful rivers and the lakes. And I'm like, look over. And I see this beautiful girl. Man, it was. I was living it up. Living it up. Uh oh, my God! Oh, oh my God! He screamed like a little girl. And he was holding on to my arm, and honest to God, there was a bubble beside me, and there's nothing but this little latch holding you in. And they were going on the sides, and he looks like he was going into the mountain, and man. Sorry for yelling in your ear, right? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I will ride that bull again and again. Yeah, I'll ride that bull again. Absolutely. If anything, I think it's more that we can have a laugh with each other, have fun together. I, I don't foresee it going anywhere further than that. That was so cool. Thank you so much, Ryan. We, we had that connection. She's, she's, she's an awesome girl. Awesome personality. I, um, I'm really glad that I, that I got to uh, click with her. Well, like, you know, I hoped we clicked. <laughs> oh, kiss me. I want to oh, kiss. I want to kiss. No. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I yeah. have a good idea about what's going to happen tonight. Yeah. You do? Yeah. How can we like? Because I know that there's certain guys that I, I think that, or I'll just say one, that a lot of girls love to death. 
but they don't find him attractive. <laughs> Every date in Hooked Up is critically important to the participants' survival. That's because they're the ones who decide who will stay and who will go. So, Jason, you went out with Kimberly today. Yep. Is Kim at the top of your list now? She's second from the top right now. You still have a number one, huh? I do. And who's that? Eva Joy, for sure. I really want to get a chance to know her. Rob, tell me. Is there anybody that you're ready to stand up for tonight? I think Tracy, she's a real sweetie. She's awesome. Today, I mean, I got a chance to talk to Eva Joy, and she was really cool, and I'd like to have an opportunity to talk to her some more, too. It's interesting how the dynamics will change, though, right? I mean, some of you had your eye on one person. Maybe after today, you've got your eye on somebody else who you know somebody else likes as well. How are you going to play that, Chad? When it comes down to that, it's kind of every man for himself. It's just the way it's going to be, right? I mean, a girl likes a certain guy. I mean, that's what she's going to like. Uh, how are you feeling about Tracy now? I mean, Nicole was at the top of your list. Yeah, right here, it's and... it's tough. It's skewing my mind right now. I'm yeah, like I've I can honestly say I've had the best time in my life today. It makes you think. Okay, maybe I should get a strategy going, or I think I should start making connections or something because it's. I can breathe tonight, but <laughs> tomorrow's a new day. You have to have some kind of strategy to keep yourself in the game. If you want to find true love, that's okay, but you have to make connections with people because the girls are the ones who are going to boot you off. I'm going to let you guys bond, chat, and you have to cut two girls tonight. It's going to be tough, I know, but you're going to have to come together and, and two of the girls have to go home tonight. Okay. Who's your number one right now? I'll say Sherry, I'll say uh, Donna. I'll say Tracy and Sherry. Naomi and uh, Eva Joy. Kimberly and Donna. Kimberly <clears throat> and Eva. Eva Joy. Um, Tracy's immune, so I'm going to say Tanya because of that. Tanya's cool one. Tanya. Yeah, Kimberly and Eva Joy. For sure, same as you. So we're going to fight later, man. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to kick my ass, it's going to suck. I'd say Nicole and... Tracy was, she really changed my mind today. It's, it's fucking stuff. I knew it was gonna be a difficult process. I wasn't looking forward to it, and it was pretty stressful. We got to the point where the guys were voting, and everybody said they wanted Nicole off. Every guy, except for myself, wanted Nicole off. Jason was the only one who gave, who gave me basically his vote and said, you know what, Chad, if you feel a connection with this girl, I'll give him my vote, I'll keep her on just for you. Yeah, no, we'd like to back you, buddy. <laughs> I'd like to back you too, man, but, uh, you know? Yeah, man. You're the only one that's showing, like, and major interest. Yeah. If you're gonna fight for it, make sure it's a big deal, man. Yeah. We got a connection, I won't lie. We got a connection. In, in our defense, man, and, you know, like, we all backed you before, that's but we're not here to hook you up, right? We're all trying to get the girls we like, too, yeah, so. Yeah, I don't need no more convincing. Like I said, I don't have a choice in this. If you want to go with that, Nicole's gone. You know, it's not my choice. So the atmosphere seems to be changing a little bit from the first time that we got to do this girl talk thing. A little bit more tension, or is it just me? Not really, Tracy? I feel pretty good. What do you mean? Mind you, I have immunity today, so. Yeah, yeah. That's probably why I feel comfortable. Yeah. yeah, that may have a little bit to do with it. But you know, the other girls, all, all the rest of you, could be going home tonight. So that's not such a great feeling. Nicole, how are you, how are you feeling? Are you feeling vulnerable? I feel involved. You seem to have a connection with Chad. And I don't think that that go goes unnoticed by it anybody. It's going to come out. <laughs> Who are you attracted to? Um, physically, Paul. Um, intellectually, I know this is going to sound funny, but Michael. And uh, I think Jason's an overall nice guy. He's sincere. There seems to be. A lot of people seem to like Jason. Jason seems to be kind of a fan favorite. So. How do you deal with that, Eva Joy? It's, a, it's an interesting situation, actually. I think that he's an amazing individual, and I do think that he's being honest and sincere, regardless of who he's talking to. Um, and I think that makes it very easy for people to be attracted to him and find a connection with him. 
As for, do I feel like I have a connection with him? Yes, I do. Tanya, you got to go on the date with Michael today. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> connection? For me, no. He's a friend, and, right. that, and that's how I would view him. So, Sherry, did it surprise you how things changed? You know, you finally get to talk? Yeah, a little bit. With any guy, you get to know them on a different level, and uh, he made me feel very comfortable. And I was totally myself the whole entire day. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to impress, I didn't have to be someone I wasn't. And that's nice, that's nice to have a guy that makes you feel like that, you know, but I have an interest in Jason too, That, and I haven't had a date with him yet. I haven't been able to meet him on that level. I guess at this point, now's the time you need to start thinking about, you know, do you keep guys on because they're funny? Do you keep guys on because they're sweet? Do you keep them on because they have a connection with someone else? Or are you looking out for number one, right? I'm gonna leave that to you at this point. So I'm gonna walk away, and you have to cut two guys tonight, okay? Two guys going home tonight, so. <laughs> got lots of work to do, so I'll leave you to it. Frank, no connection, party animal. Chad H. I have no connection with Mike. I Mike is fun, and he's Mike, sincere. Wait, you he's know really what, guys? I, I have a connection with him, and I'm gonna fight for him, and that's the way it is. I really yeah, like him. He's, it's, he's not my friend. He's a connection. He, he is fun. He's going to make you no, laugh. He fun. Here I'm fighting for people, and who knows if they're fighting for me, but that's just the way it goes. No, but I can totally see Mike Michael. Yeah. He's got a good heart. So do all of them. They all yeah. do. When it comes down to it, it's not, and it comes down to the nitty gritty, it's not going to be hard. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to be yeah. hard. Mike and I had a great date, and I really like M Mike as a friend. He is a great guy. But uh, the girls had said, let's bring it down to who you who you could see yourself being with or not see yourself being with. And Mike and I are just complete opposites. And so for that reason, I had voted uh, Mike off. Tommy. Tommy, I, I don't know. Tommy's, um, I'm, I'd have to I think he's, he's playing it a lot. He's he a doctor. I don't, doctor. Think, he's, I don't think he's, I don't think he's in it for the right reason. Okay. Okay. So, so why do we want to keep Tommy? Maybe somebody yeah. should so tell maybe, us why. Yeah. So if someone wants Tommy, mind. fight for him yeah. and fight because you tell have a connection why. and you want to be with him. Four of the girls wanted Tommy to stay and four of the girls wanted Tommy to, to go. You know what? Fight for him. If you want him, fight for him. Like, I'll be sad if he leaves. So but you can't do that. Exactly. You can't do that right Probably now. Probably not. So okay. That's what I'm not saying. That's why I voted. Tommy. I didn't think I'd be upset about it, and like Naomi started crying, and, and I had to hold back. It almost made me start crying, um, just because, you know, Tommy is a really good guy. I didn't know she felt that way. And had I known, I would have chose somebody else. Let us know, because this is going to be it. Do you want him to walk today or not? I don't. I okay. Don't. Okay. 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 I felt like it had come down to me that it was my decision, you know, because everyone's like, well, speak up, decide. Naomi, speak up. So I feel like there's possibly something there, so it's hard to, hard okay. to let him know, and I have no idea about Jason, because I really I like him, but I haven't. I told he wants a date with you. He said that specifically about you. He's on a date with me, and he's telling me about you. Like, hello. Naomi was very upset and felt burned that Kimberly had said go for Jason, fully well knowing that Jason wasn't really interested in her like that. I think we made a mistake. I really do. Um, I wish I'd fought more for Tommy. Hello again, everybody. I know you were kind of walking slowly to get here tonight. Chad. How was it having to make your cut decisions tonight? It was one of the hardest things I did. It was one of the hardest. It's, I don't know. We, we tried so many different ways. We could, okay, write it down. That didn't work. We said, okay, pick your top one. That didn't work. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah. Tanya, how about the girls? Did you have a tough time choosing two? Oh, very tough. Uh, it's not an easy decision. Mm -hmm. Got to have a bunch of great guys here, so. I know that you're all waiting anxiously to know who's going to stay. 12 people who get to stay and continue their journey. And those will be the people on these cards here. The one or two guys that you might have chemistry with, maybe they have no control in it. So you kind of have to be leery no matter what. Chad didn't make too much eye contact. I, I, um, I was scared. Okay, so number one, no surprise, Jason. Fight all.
all the odds. Mike. <laughs> Gee, thanks. You're staying with us. Good luck, boys. Everyone else. Eva Joy. Big, big sigh. Relief? Yeah, I, yeah. Relief. Chad. Oh, there's no hard feelings, ladies. It was a really hard decision. Kimberly. Thank you. <laughs> Sherry. Paul. <laughs> Thank you, God. Okay, so you know at this point we've got two cards left. One person from each side staying. I know Tom was was saying that he, he was pretty sure he was gonna go because he didn't feel a connection with any of the girls. I was feeling fairly safe because Paul had actually told me on our date that there were a few guys that were interested in me. Rob, how you feeling right now? I've had a good time. But I have no regrets about coming here. Nicole, how you feeling about right now? I'm feeling sad. I won't make you wait any longer here. Rob, you're staying. Congratulations. Thanks. Okay, and for the girls. Naomi. Tommy, are you surprised? I mean... Uh, it was just hard. We I never had a chance to get a connection with anybody, you know, and it was just uh, talking to all the guys. It was just... You can't help but get the feeling that everybody else kind of got a spark. How are you feeling, Dana? Um, I kind of expected it. I'm, I, I'm a firm believer in things happen for a reason, but, I mean, it was fun. I, I had a good time on the ride, so. Dana, there was guys interested in her, but she didn't let anyone beneath the surface. The only thing she had going bad for her, maybe she's a little younger. She was kind of shy, and uh, other than that, I mean, she's, she's, she's gorgeous. I wish she would have talked more. I really wish she would have opened up a little bit more. Frank, if anybody's had a good time oh, yeah. on this adventure, it's been you. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was surprised. I was, like, kind of expecting because I knew there was mm, no connection with any girl. He is a card, and he is a great energy to be around, but no one made a connection with him, and uh, he's here just for a, a party. Nicole, you were saying you were going to be ticked off if you didn't have a chance to have a date yes. before you left, and yes. you're not going to get that chance. Yes, I'm not. We're talking about Chad here. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> he was lucky he didn't have to worry about getting cut tonight, yeah. so that just kind of added to the pressure between you two, hey? I was very, very lucky to meet him, and I was very lucky to feel what I got to feel. If what I felt is, is as strong as it is for me, as it is for him, it doesn't matter. She's gonna hook up with Chad, and we said, you know, hey man, nothing against you, but I'm not here for you to, to, to win the show, right? Get her out of here. I don't want to see that around anymore. Next time on Hooked Allow Up. Allow love to live. It's obvious you and Eva Joy, you know. And love will set you free. Where you are now, only God just know. You're not my love, or I've been struck by Cupid's book. With the girls, shit's going down. There's one person who's basically the head of the pack trying to mess things up.